I just want all you guys to know how excited I am, but also our entire staff is to get going. Like this is the day, like our season's here. It's not anymore talking about the future. First practice, like we're off and running. We gotta be a player-led team. Name the three of you guys captains on Friday. It can't be us inserting the passion that we need to or the hunger. It's gotta be you guys. You guys make this year what you wanna make it. Don't wait on us. You guys make it the way that you wanna make it, all right? And then we went over our values. We went over offense and defense, all right? You guys should know them. But just keep learning the game. Timing of when to pass. Reads, depending on how the pick, the pick and roll is being defended. We're gonna work on skills and shooting and all this that's important that we need to work on. A lot of this comes down to being at your best when your best is required. End of the day, we gotta put ourselves in a position where when our best is required, we're gonna put our best foot forward. All right, we got it? Let's have a great one. Let's go, come on. A lot of energy today, all right? Together on three. One, two, three, together. Yeah. Here we go. So we stopped them, we did a good job right away. Now you gotta impact them, Flip. Now you're soft on the ball. You're right here. You gotta impact, you gotta guard them. All I saw is down there, Coach Carroll was working on what? Post defense, right? Ryan rolls, easy catch right behind right away. So initial defense is good. We gotta play it all the way through now. Put it all together. Blue, same way. As we were working in the preseason in the summer, you know, what jumped out to me was our ball handling and playmaking. You know, we have multiple guys that can get in the paint multiple players that can go off for 20 points on a given night or can have 10 rebounds, 10 assists. Like there's many different ways we can hurt you on offense, but to maximize that, playing faster is important. Uh, really sharing the ball where we're getting multiple paint touches, multiple drives and kicks. And then you have a guy in, you know, Filipowski inside that's, to me, He's the most unique player in the country. You know, he just, what he brings to the table inside and out, uh, his competitiveness, his rebounding, um, it's just, we, we're fortunate to have a guy on the team that you can, you can really put anywhere on the court and he's gonna be effective. A big point of emphasis for us was understanding we can put four or five guys on the court that can all score, shoot, handle, pass. But really, we're stronger when we're playing together and learning what that means. And look, none of our guys would be here if they wanted it to be just about them. And so that says already who they are as people and who they are as competitors and players. But it takes, it's even though you return eight, you return four starters, it's still different, it's very different actually. And so adjusting to the personnel for this year's team, adjusting to different strengths that have developed over the past year and a half uh, has been the biggest thing for us on the offensive end, just learning how to play together, learning how to share it. And the defensive end, just embracing the toughness you have to have, embracing blocking out, diving on the floor for loose balls, all the things that translates to winning uh, is what's made our program so special. And we've really emphasized that this fall. We go off of last year when we had 11 of our 13 players, uh, a couple of them experienced college basketball, but 11 of them never experienced what it meant to play at Duke, what it meant to put on a Duke uniform, and what comes with that going to opposing arenas and sold out and they're getting on you, the expectations, the responses to wins and losses. And so for us, we went through a lot of trials and tribulations last year and a lot of uh, growing moments. And that's gonna happen every year, but going through it, there's such value in just one year of experience, understanding what this place is all about. So the fact that we have eight instead of two, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal. A couple things for me, one, 
Like I said throughout, I thought our effort was really good. We gotta work on all this, so embrace it. I don't care if you've been here, Jeremy, for four years, or Reese, you're back again, and Ryan. We gotta embrace everything we're doing because it's gonna translate to the game, all right? We're a long way away from knowing how to play together. Like, there's too much dribbling right now. There's too much where we're not getting each other open with screening off the ball, moving off the ball. Talk was great, energy was great. We gotta keep going and come back tomorrow ready for another one like this. All right, we got it? Okay, let's go, bring it in, let's go. Let it go. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness isn't about what you've done, it's about what you do next. By Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And by Coke Zero Sugar. They say Coke Zero is irresistibly tasty. Does that make it the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. Feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. Can they handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by like a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to a hundred. Continental. Welcome to the smart choice in tires. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $30 on the GTA 26 handheld battery pruner. Real steel. Find yours. I need to try it first. Yeah. Brotherhood CEO program is really about making the um, the idea of the Brotherhood, the Brotherhood Network, a tangible learning experience for our guys. So we do different things, leveraging Duke resources, uh, former managers, former players, and really just bringing them in to, to spend one on one time growing the different off court dimensions of our players. We want them to be good citizens of, of Durham, good representatives of Duke, and we take the summer months to to really lean into to that as a whole. Well, we didn't do a foreign trip this summer. Uh, which entails a lot and you play a lot of games and you know for us we had multiple players that are coming off of injury but we want to not take for granted the fact that you need to bond as a team you need to get closer and so we did a, a team brotherhood CO trip uh, which our brotherhood CO program is something we started a couple years ago and it's all about uh, teaching them uh, skills and tools to have for the rest of their life beyond just their time at Duke and so we decided to go to Chicago uh, and which is a great city, by the way, and we had some fun, but we also had uh, important meetings, discussions, time together to learn about one another to make us stronger for the entire year. We started the trip off with a pizza making competition and we got some deep dish pizza, which you can't go to Chicago without getting that at Little Monati's, which was a great stop for us. And then we stopped and had many different conversations with some of the top business leaders in Chicago, uh, whether it be in the world of finance, uh, private equity. I met with Arnie Duncan, who really told us about how he's given back to the community of Chicago and how he's battled gun violence, which is a huge problem in Chicago and really in our country, and just how to be able to 
use the platform that we all have to the best of our ability. One of the highlights though for us was we had former players come back and had dinner Friday night or four members of our 2015 national championship team, which was pretty special. Jalil Okafor, Matt Jones, Grayson Allen, and Quinn Cook for one other dinner. Jason Tatum surprised, actually me, I didn't know he was coming, but he surprised our team, which is a special thing, just to see the connection and to see the love that they have for our program and for our team. One of the messages that the guys from the 15 team talked about was it wasn't about stats at all. You know, they were able to do something together that really has bonded them this coming up on 10 years. Uh, it'll be for the rest of their life, they'll have that bond of winning a championship together. And they talked about sacrifice. You know, in order, in order to win anything, you know, any championship, to win anything at a high level, there needs to be some level of sacrifice where whether that means you're putting your body on the line or you're sacrificing the time and energy off the court where it's going into uh, the team and into the right things, or if it's sacrificing, and this guy's got it going tonight, I'm gonna support him and I'm gonna pass it, I'm gonna pass it his way. Uh, but they all emphasize the sacrifice that they had for each other, uh, which is why they're national champs. Along the shores of Lake Michigan, the Blue Devils find themselves in Chicago tonight, set for yet another top 20 showdown in a season that is barely a week old. And perhaps it's fitting that in a city known for a stiff breeze, Duke will have the opportunity to cast aside some headwinds of their own after Friday night's loss to Arizona. It's Duke and Michigan State, and off we go from Chicago. On the right at Shermie Roach, into the post and flip. Again, he towers over Akins. Here comes a triple team, with one inside for Young. The layup is good off the right. The Blue Devils want to run. Four and a half minutes to play until the break. They lead 19 to 18. Shermie. Probing, penetrates, kicks to the left corner. Proctor is open, and he hits a three. Off of the screen set by Young. Here comes a double team to the left. Mitchell thought about a three. Instead, he'll drive into the paint, put it up, count it, and a foul. Backing him down at the left elbow. A double team comes, trying to force his way through it. Whips it cross court. A good look from three, and it's good for who else but Caleb Foster. It's a screen from Flip on the drive. Seven and six, another screen at the top of the key. Kicks to the right. Foster again, big time! Kalen Foster dials it up! Timeout, Tom Izzo! What an impressive performance tonight for John Shire's group. A bounce back effort, tough, gritty, and Caleb Foster was spectacular. He had 18, and it's the Blue Devils by nine. 74 to 65, the final score, as they pick up their second win of the season. Well, the game against Michigan State in Chicago was a great test, and uh, for us, actually, there was it was familiar. You know, we stayed at the same hotel, uh, and it was a very different feeling. You know, we were going there this time for a business trip, and I thought our guys had a great way about them. You know, it's we've had a saying in our program for the, for a long time: it's next play, and we had great next play mentality. Whether you win the game before, whether you lose. It's always the, the next shot's the most important shot. You know, the next game is the most important game. I thought we came in with toughness, defense, holding Michigan State to only 20 points in the first half uh, was great. And then to see our offense go in the second half was great also. And to get that win, it was a very important win for our team and uh, definitely gave us something to build from. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. And just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. 
When you're injured, you should not be ignored by the insurance company. We know the amount seems low, but this is what your case is worth. Just click here. We understand you can't work. Click the bottom. You want more. Call a law firm that will fight for the justice you deserve. You weren't going to click that, were you? Tell them you mean business. Call the law offices of James Scott Farron on the Hurt Line right now. Duke's new century cries out for a university where the drive to discover is not hemmed by disciplinary logics. Where philosophers work side by side with physicians and physicists. Where nurses find inspiration in narrative theory. Where mechanical engineers team up with marine biologists or musicians. I believe Duke will continue to be that university together. So I guess it was a little bit of a brainchild of myself and the creative media team here um, with everybody. Uh, I did that, you remember when we were at the first game in Orlando, I did like that, uh, I think a lot of teams do it, where they have one guy like being like a fake reporter in the, right. in the room while we have like, uh, I felt like there was like 50 real reporters there. Um, and I never really done anything like that, but it was pretty cool and fun. Um, and I felt like I was half decent at it. And uh, when we were brainstorming ways to kind of help build my own personal brand, like, you know, a lot of guys on our team, like, have TikToks and, like, all that. And that's not really me. I couldn't, like, bring myself to create a TikTok. Um, so uh, I thought about doing something that was geared, like, towards that because it was fun to do that. And it seemed like um, it was easy and natural. Uh, so I brought up the idea of starting, like, some sort of podcast or some sort of off-season thing to... Um, give back to the fans a little bit and you know while we're not playing games do something to kind of just provide more insight into our guys so this idea of a podcast was born and uh yeah it was the idea was uh, you know i guess a little bit to help drive my own like mm -hmm. user engagement uh on social media because that's kind of what we originally were talking about but honestly the biggest thing is like i said giving back to the fans i was in manila with the U.S. men's national team competing in the World Cup. And we were in our hotel in the morning uh, in a space that we have designated for, for meals. And we have a television, uh, and somehow we were able to stream the game. And Paulo, Paulo Bancaro, who obviously a great Duke player, and, uh, a Duke legend, and, um, but also uh, a player who played on, on our team, he and I were, were watching uh, in disbelief. I'm watching just as a, you know, uh, a, a guy who's about to have his 30th reunion, just like in awe that we're competing against Clemson uh, and beating them so, you know, so convincingly. And he's watching because he knows all the guys on the team yeah. he came in with. A lot of them were freshmen. Now they're, they're upperclassmen. But uh, even in that setting, it was, it was pretty, pretty incredible. Are there any major misconceptions you took note of uh, in the first, you know, whatever, few weeks, few months on the job. I, I assume as an assistant coach, you're, you're seeing things and thinking of things. Is there anything that, uh, you know, either occurred or you took note of quickly in your tenure that you were like, oh, this is different than I thought? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think overall you can read as many books as you want. You can have as many years of experience coaching as you want. But until you're in that position of being the one to make a decision, uh, you feel it differently. You feel it, no, I feel it in here. And not in a bad way, in a way where it, it, it means something. Right off the bat, I mean, I loved it this past year here at Duke. And I know that, you know, once you get to this level, you know, business comes into play. You know, it, you know it's not just, you know, you still have to enjoy the sport that you love, but also you gotta understand that there's a business side of it as well. And that gets even more once you get to the professionals. Um, and I mean, I just really loved it this past year, you know, playing with you guys. And um, I really wanted to, you know, Dream Mind's been to win a national championship. And uh, I really don't think there's any better place to do it. You've done a great job with this, and uh, it does give our fans a uh, and people who aren't our fans, 
a, a chance to learn more about uh, uh, our program. Yeah. And uh, it, uh, it, I think we've been a program of plural pronouns. It's not mine, it's not I, it's not me, it's ours. And so you've done a good job with, uh, with, with doing this, po our, po our podcast. Monday night, 11.23. Welcome back to the Brotherhood Podcast. Getting in the po cold tub here. Bye, bye, bye. Post tub. Want to know? Yeah, yep, yeah, post tub, post tub. Give me, give me like 30 seconds. Oh, oh. I got to get my, oh, yeah, hold I got to get my waist on. This is cool. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Welcome back to the Brotherhood Podcast. Duke Basketball 360, presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And now a steal by Young, and a run out, and a dunk! And the pitch goes wild! Ryan Young brings a ton to the table for our team. Uh, he's very mature, uh, and the, the best part about Ryan is that he's the ultimate teammate. He does not care about stats he does not care about points he does not care about anything other than being the the most supportive teammate that he can be and winning and so it's contagious when you have that in the locker room when you have a key guy that people respect uh where they listen to what he has to say that's all about the right things and probably at times it's to a fault you know we have to get on ryan to be more aggressive because he can really score inside and he's a really good player but he's such a such an unselfish teammate, and uh, it's really contagious for everybody in the locker room. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. Can they handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the Smart Choice in Tires. These mascots represent some of the most heated rivalries in college sports. What could possibly bring them all together? Everyone agrees on the best team in smart home security. CPI. Statistically, the world is losing color. But who wants a gray world when we could have this? Honey yellow. Perry pinkle. Indy gold. Things stay the same when the same is where you stay. But in hundreds of Delta destinations, simply opening your eyes can open your world. We still believe in the American dream. A dream filled with promise. A dream filled with commitment to our neighbors and our communities. Where we work hard and succeed together. Where we take care of those who serve for us. SRS delivers with integrity and purpose. Through the fastest growing family of independence in the country. Company by company. Person by person. Rooftop by rooftop. SRS Distribution delivers more than building products. SRS delivers dreams. In possession. Oh, what a spin move! And a two-hand flush! He put Coswell in the blender! And it's a 10-point lead. 80 to 62, the Blue Devils take it by 18. Now five and one on the season. A clean sweep in the Blue Devil Challenge as they beat Bucknell LaSalle in Southern Indiana. With a preseason schedule, we wanted to make sure we had one, great competition, uh, two, uh, great balance with the schedule, but then also three, where we want to throw our guys into the fire right away. And so coming out of the gates, you know, we played Dartmouth at Monday night and, and 9 p.m. as the home opener. Then we played Arizona at home and then Michigan State on a neutral site in two of the first three games. You know, we're, no other program has had a schedule like that up to this point. And we want to make sure, one, to have 
a unique game like that against an Arizona or somebody early in the early in the season for our fans, for our team. Cameron is a special place and it deserves to have special opportunities and special games there. But also we knew we were going to be tested on the, tested on the road at Arkansas. And then whenever we have the chance, we'll try to do a game up in New York, you know, the neutral site game in Madison Square Garden. That's been a great place for us. Our fans, have been, our fans have been so incredibly supportive. So we play Baylor there. And the home games that we have, we really play a lot of different styles of play. You know, they're, they're different conferences and they're different levels, but they all play a different style that you can see in the NCAA tournament uh, in a postseason, uh, depending on what round and seating and all that. Uh, it will be will be tested in a very different way, which be just a great thing. So I'm excited about our schedule. It's difficult, it's challenging, but I know that our guys wouldn't have it any other way. Blue Devils now turn their attention to the southeast as they set sail in the inaugural ACC SEC Challenge. Long rebound chased down by Roach. A numbers advantage, two on one. Takes it himself off the right window and in. Jeremy Roach has his first field goal. The rebound high into the air and claimed by Filipowski. Now ahead for Roach. Behind the defense, he'll lay it up and get the roll. McCain the rebound. Racing ahead, hit it ahead for Proctor. A bounce pass to flip, soaring in to lay it in for two. Roach has it on the right. A shoulder shake and a drive. Into the paint, back for flip. Able to catch in traffic, put it off the window. No, get his own rebound, go back up and score. As the Razorbacks get the upset. 80 to 75, the final score. And the Blue Devils fall to five and two on the season. The thing that I, I like that we're starting to develop is the, the way we've attacked rebounding. You know, we've started to win those battles. We talk about winning the rebounding battle. And, you know, we beat Michigan State, but we won the rebounding battle. And to me, as you look at our team, that's going to go hand in hand. And it's about effort. It's about focus. Uh, it's about attention to detail. And we've had that. And just our intention on defense, you know, we have to get to a point where for 40 minutes we're, we're, we have five guys moving together as one on the defensive end. Right now, we're not fully there, but no team I've ever been a part of is there in the beginning of the season. That's part of the process, that's part of the development, but I think we're further ahead with the intention of understanding what we have to do. It's just a matter of developing our habits where we're doing it all the time.